Welcome to Bottoms Down, Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol. I'm glad you've joined us today. Today is day 24 of our 28-day Chair Yoga journey. We're going to start seated with a Warrior Two pose, so we're going to build a little bit on from yesterday. We'll move into standing, and then we'll return back to seated. I hope you'll click the subscribe button. Remember, it's free, and leave a comment. And let's get started. So we're going to start by sitting up nice and tall in our chair and moving forward so we're not leaning back. We're going to take both feet. We're going to place them on the floor, feel like they're equally weighted as we ground them to that floor. And the same thing with our sits bones. We're grounding them to the chair. Let's lift our heart, lower our shoulders down out of the ears. Place the hands lightly on the thighs. Flip the palms up to the ceiling, close the eyes, and just breathe your natural breath. We're going to move that breath down into the diaphragm. So as you inhale, the belly extends and we're filling the lungs from the bottom up. And then as you exhale, actively pulling the belly button in towards the spine, pushing the air up and out of the lungs. Do that a couple of times. And then breathe normally. We're going to continue with our diaphragmatic breath. We'll inhale to four counts, exhale to five, something like this. Inhale to three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, and breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart, set your intentions for today's practice, focusing in on what you want to accomplish. One more breath. Bring your hands down to your thighs and open your eyes. And we're going to roll our shoulders. So it's a forward, up, back, and down. Let's do that again. Forward, up, back, and down. And then let's reverse it. Back, up, forward, and down again back, up, forward, and down. Very, very good. Okay, so we're going to grab the back of our chair, all right? So keep those shoulders down out of the ears, but squeeze your shoulder blades back behind you. Now let's drop that right ear to that right shoulder. Mm. Drop your chin towards your chest. Feel that stretch. Maintain that squeeze behind you. Let's let the opposite ear fall down. Now go ahead and drop your chin towards your chest. You're going to release the back of the chair and you're going to bring your hands up to the head. Just lay them lightly on the back of the head and let the elbows fall towards the mat. So I'm not pulling on my head. I'm just letting the weight of my hands and the gravity give it a little extra stretch. Let's release that, and we're going to do that again. Grab the back of your chair. Lift up through the heart, scrap, squeeze the shoulder blades back behind you. Let's drop that left ear first. And chin to chest. Drop right ear to right shoulder. Let's release the chair. Drop the chin towards the chest. Reach up with the hands. Let the hands rest lightly on the back of the head, elbows down towards the floor. And release. All right, excellent. So we're going to move into our mountain pose we'll with just a little bit of an add-on here. So let's come down. We know this one well now. Belly tight, shoulders are down. Spread those fingers. Go post arms. Squeeze. Fingertips to the ceiling. Okay, we're going to bring that right hand down towards the chair. We're going to lengthen through that left side, and then we're going to lean our mountain. Now we're going to take that hand that's in the air, and we're going to press it up towards the ceiling and turn and look up. 
And then we're going to bring that arm across the body again for a leaning mountain pose. Take the hand up to the ceiling, turn and look up. It's just a little twist. And then we're going to bring that leaning mountain one more time. Fingers up to the ceiling, bring that hand down and release it. Okay, let's do mountain pose again. We're going to go to the other side. Go post arm, squeeze. Fingertips to the ceiling. Left hand to the chair, right hand extends. Lean your mountain. Take that hand to the ceiling, turn and look up. Let's lean our mountain. Hands to the ceiling, turn and look up. One more, lean that mountain. Hand up, look up, and release. All right, really good. So we're gonna move into a cat and a cow pose. So we're gonna bring our hands to our heart. I want you to lift up through the spine, open that throat up. All right, now we're gonna start in cow pose. We're gonna grab the back of our chair, lift up through the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades back behind you. And then we're gonna to move to cat pose. Hands are gonna to come to the thighs, elbows wide, pull that belly button in towards the spine, tuck the chin, looking down at your lap. Take the hands to the back of the chair, lift up into your cow pose. Maybe look up a little bit, open up through that throat, squeeze those shoulder blades behind, and then round down into cat. Let's add the breath. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. One more. Inhale into cow. And exhale into cat. And release. Okay, very, very good. I'm going to take my right knee and I'm going to cross it over my left leg. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you, you can do this one ankle to ankle. It's just fine. Okay, so I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to place it on the inside of that leg. Opposite hand is going to come back to the chair. Lengthen through the spine, pull that left shoulder back, and then turn and look over that shoulder. One more breath here. Face forward. Take your left hand, put it on the outside of the leg. Opposite hand to the chair. Lengthen through the spine, pull that right shoulder back, turn and look. and release. Okay, let's uncross our legs and we're going to go to the other side. So here we go. We're going to cross the other leg on top or you can be ankle to ankle. That's always an option. Okay, left hand on the inside of that thigh, opposite hand to the chair, lengthen through the spine, pull the shoulder back, turn and look. Face forward. Opposite hand comes to the outer thigh, opposite other hand to the chair, lengthen, pull that shoulder back, turn and look. One more breath and face forward. Really, really good. So the next pose is a, is a series that I refer to as swimming. So we're gonna keep our abdominals tight and this is gonna be working into the back, okay? So we're gonna start with a very small movement and then we'll build into a bigger movement. So you're gonna to listen to your body and do only what works for you, all right? Pull that belly in. We're gonna just start by pushing. See how I'm pushing that arm forward and out and in. Let's do the other side. So I'm leaning forward as I push my arm out swings out and back in. Let's do it again on the other side. All right, up we go, and we're gonna do the other side. So we're gonna do that one more time, just like this, before we add on. Use your abdominals here. You should begin to feel the back working a little bit, right, as we lean forward. We're working into that back a little bit and bring those hands down and take a break. Okay, so that's a great version, and if that feels good for you, you're gonna stick with that. If you're with me, we're going to go a little deeper into that, right? So we're going to push a little further out and down. 
Belly is tight. I'm leaning a little bit further forward. And now it's a little bit bigger movement. And now we're going to do that again with a little final bigger movement. But let's do it one more time like this. So this is kind of the medium movement. Use your abdominals here, right? Protect that back. All right. And release. Now, if you want to do the full ex uh, extension, you're really going to push out. Belly stays tight, but we're really working that back. Okay, here we go. Push and center. Other side. Push and center. Switch. Push. Come center. And push. And center. Again, push and push. Let's do one more on each side. Work in that back. Last one, last side, and release. Okay, did that feel, did you feel that working through the abdominals to protect that back and you felt that back working and stretching? Okay, good. That was the idea. Okay, so now we're going to move into an extended hamstring stretch and we're going to add a pyramid pose, okay? So I think, I don't know, a few days ago we did part of this, but we're going to add that last little bit onto this series. So we're going to bring that right knee in. Now remember, if you want to hold behind the thigh, that's fine, okay? So you can give that leg a little bit of support here. So we're going to flex the foot and we're going to extend. Now, what I want you to do is lift that leg a little higher. Oh, there's that hamstring. You feel it? I feel it. Now, you're going to leave your leg long, and you're going to put that heel on the floor. So my leg is straight and long. Lengthen through the spine, hold on to the thighs, and let the heart fall forward. So we're adding in that pyramid pose. You feel that? little more hamstring here and then tuck the chin and roll it up. So the one we did before was a little more quadricep. Let's bring it up, bring that knee in, extend. So there's the quadricep working, but I'm holding on to that leg and I'm going to tug and give that leg a little tug. Don't lean back, right? So it's not this. It's keeping the spine long. There's that hamstring stretch. Let's put that heel down, lengthen and hinge. Oh, I love it. Boy, do you feel that stretch? Let's roll it up. We're going to do that one more time. Bring the knee in. Flex the foot. Extend. Lift that leg a little higher. There's that hamstring. Oh, yeah. Place the foot on the floor. Lengthen. Hinge forward for pyramid pose. Oh, that feels good. And roll it up. Okay, we got to do the other side now. Are we ready? Let's bring that knee up and in first. So there's a nice little stretch, crown of the head long. Flex the foot. Extend. Lift. There's that hamstring. Place that foot on the floor. Lengthen. Hinge forward for pyramid pose. Keep the back flat. Look out, not down. And roll it up. Let's do that again. Bring that knee in. Flex that foot. Extend the leg. Now we're going to lift that leg a little higher for that hamstring. Place the foot on the floor. Lengthen through the spine. Hinge forward. Pyramid pose. Back is flat. And let's do it one more time. We got it, right? Bring it in. Flex. Extend. Lift. Place the heel on the floor. Lengthen through the spine. Let that heart fall forward, keeping the back flat for pyramid pose. And roll it up. Very, very good. So we're going to move into goddess pose with shoulder dips. But we're going to do a little add-on, okay? So again, a heel toe and a heel toe. So we've got a nice alignment, hips to knees to ankles to toes. So everything is in alignment. Belly stays tight here. We're going to hold on to those legs. We did this one just a couple of days ago. Extend nice and long through the spine, and we're going to let this shoulder fall down. Now, the difference here, what I'm going to do, so this shoulder is down. I'm going to take this hand, and I'm going to press it against that inner thigh. So there is the extra stretch. So my shoulder dropping is going to get the side waist. Me pushing into that leg is now getting that inner thigh. So it's really kind of adding to this series. 
it's the same series with just a little bit of an add-on here. Let's come up. Oh yeah, and let's do the other side. So let that shoulder fall, and then I'm going to press into that leg. Oh yeah, I feel it. One more breath here. Let's come up. Can we go straight to the other side? Let's do it again. Here we go. Let that shoulder dip between the legs. Press against that upper thigh. So the inner groin, I don't know what all you feel, but I'm feeling a lot of stretching going on here. And up we go, and let's do the other side. So by dipping the shoulder, I'm feeling the side waist, and then as I push, it's moving into the inner thigh and the inner groin. That's what I personally feel. Just one more breath here, and let's release the hand. <laughs> okay, go ahead and bring those feet in a little bit. So the next stretch, again, is a pretty intense stretch. It's, a, it's called the froggy. So we're going to sit back in our chair, and then we're going to bring our knees out. So the seat of the chair is between our legs, okay? Do you feel that? So let's just hang out here for a couple of breaths and feel that stretch first. Now, whatever feels good for you, right? If this is just a little too much for you, then you're going to go ahead and move forward and bring those knees in a little. It's okay. All right. Extend through the spine, nice and long, and then just begin to let your heart fall forward. So I have my hands on the seat of the chair for support. Oh yeah. All right, let's tuck our chin and roll up. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Nice long spine, belly tight. Begin to let your heart fall forward. Feel the stretch here. One more breath, tuck the chin and roll it up. Okay, so just bring the legs in a little bit. Give the, uh, the inner thighs a little, a little break. So as you're resting, I wanna show you what we're going to do next. So we're going to come back the way we were. Then I'm going to take the heels and I'm going to externally rotate them out. <laughs> it's not a huge movement. I don't know if you saw that. So I just took my heels from being like at a diagonal here out so that maybe my feet are more 90 degrees, toes pointing forward. Okay, so let's all try to do that. So go ahead and move back in your chair. Whatever, whatever version of that you're doing, doesn't matter, right? Holding onto that chair. Now, we're going to take our heels and we're going to move them out. You'll see how it changes where we're stretching. Lengthen through the spine, pull the belly in, let that heart fall forward. Do you feel the difference? Right? So it's kind of moved the stretch out and around, for me anyway. Oh yeah, let's roll it up. And we're going to do that one more time. Frog. Inhale, extend. Exhale, let the heart fall forward. Okay, so if it feels okay, only if you want to, I'm going to go ahead and bring my hands to the floor. Ha. Man, oh man. Do y'all feel that stretch? Just one more breath. Go ahead and grab your chair, okay? Hold on to that chair. Roll it up into seated. Make sure you're not dizzy. And let's heel toe those feet back in together. <laughs> All right, very good. So we're going to do that warrior two reverse warrior side angle pose again, but we're going to add a pretty significant stretch for the leg. So let's all do the first version 90 degrees just to kind of get it in our head, okay? Then we're going to go into that pretty deep leg series. So let's take that right knee and open it, arms up. We've done this one, right? We've done this one before. We're going to look over those front fingertips. Flip that front palm to the ceiling, reverse your warrior up and back. Come back to, side, to uh, warrior two, and then we're going to move to that side angle pose. Now, let's take the hand that's in the air and bring, I call it bicep by ear. So there is one deepening for this pose that we're going to do. Okay, pull your belly in, and then we're going to begin with this top arm, windmill back up to warrior two. Flip that front palm up and back. We're going to move back to that warrior two. Back to side angle, 
Remember, heart's lifted. We're not letting ourselves sink down. Bring that bicep by ear. Oh, that feels so good. Are we ready? Press into that warrior two and release. Okay, so let's bring that knee forward. We're gonna do that same thing on the other side. Here we go. Bring that left knee open 90 degrees between those legs. Bring the arms up. Warrior two. So lift your front palm up and back. We know this one. We've done this one a few times, right? Back to that warrior two. We're gonna to go to our side angle. And then we're gonna extend our side angle. Then we're gonna press back to that warrior two. Flip the palm up and back. Back to our warrior two. Side angle pose. Extended side angle. Press back to that warrior two and release. Okay, excellent. So that's a great version. And if you want to stick with that version, you're going to stick with that version. If you want to be with me, what we're going to do is just like we did a minute ago with Froggy, we're going to bring the seat of the chair between our legs. Now this leg is pretty much going to stay right where it is, okay? So it's at a diagonal as everything should be in alignment, hips, knee, ankle, and toes. This is the leg that we're going to extend out to the side. Uh-huh, I know, I feel it too. <laughs> so, right, here's a couple of things that might happen. This happens in my, my in-person classes. You might be feeling a little cramp right here. So one thing you can do to take some of the pressure off of this upper uh, leg is bend the knee just a smidge, okay? So that's fine. If you wanna bend that knee a little bit, that's okay. But if you're with me, I'm going to keep my legs straight. I'm up on the side of that foot. I'm going to let go of my chair. Are we ready? Warrior two. Look over those front fingertips. Belly tight. Shoulders are down out of the ears. Arms are parallel to the mat. Don't lose the form, right? Flip the palm up and back. Reverse that warrior. Side angle pose. Extended side angle. Back to warrior two. Flip that palm up and back. Back to warrior two. Side angle. Extended side angle. Back to warrior two. Reverse your warrior, I know, a little flow here. Back to warrior two, this is it. Last one on this side, side angle. Don't let that heart sink. Extend your side angle. Press back to warrior two, hands to the chair, bend that extended leg and release. Oh, <laughs> I know, right? That one is quite the stretch. Okay, we gotta do the other side. So let's come back into that like we were going to do froggy. This is a breeze now, right? <laughs> like we've gone from, ooh, this is a lot, to man, there's nothing to this piece of it because we've stretched so much on that inner groin. Okay, so we're going to leave this leg right where it is. Make sure you're all in alignment. Now this is the leg that's going to extend. I'm up on the side of that leg. So I, you know, just adjust. Move yourself around on that chair until you feel like you've got a position that's gonna work for you. Okay, take a moment here. Ha! Remember you can always bend that knee a little bit if that feels better. All right, bring those arms up. Look over those left fingertips. Make sure your shoulders are down. Those arms are parallel, belly is tight. Are we ready? Reverse your warrior. Flip that front palm up and reverse it up to the ceiling. I'm looking up if that feels okay on your neck. Back to warrior two. Side angle pose. Mm. Let's extend our side angle. And press into that warrior two. Flip that palm up and back. Back to warrior two. Side angle. Extend. And warrior two. Last time through, flip that palm up and back. Back to warrior two. Side angle. 
reverse, I mean extend that side angle, back to warrior two, and release. Oh, bring those legs in, right? <sighs> All right. So we're going to come to standing, and we're going to be on the right side of our chair, okay? So go ahead and just make sure that you've got that chair handy. So we're going to be using it to begin with, and then we're not. Actually, I don't even think we use it to begin with on this one, but you want to have it here if you need to grab it. Okay, so we're going to come into an extended standing mountain pose. So belly is tight, right? Shoulders are down. Interlace your fingers, point your fingers to the ceiling. Now, we're going to lean our mountain towards our chair. So keep that this foot down, all right? So feel that stretch. And then we're going to come up, and then we're going to lean the other way. And then we're going to come up. And let's bring those hands down. So just checking in, how does that feel? So what we're going to do is as we lean towards our chair, we're going to lift this leg up, all right? So we're going to do a little bit of balance, but we're only going to do it on that one side, and then we'll go to the other side of the chair, because I want you leaning in towards the chair, because you can grab it if you need to. All right, ready? Extended mountain. We got this. Shoulders down. Interlace, I mean, um, bring your palms together, interlace fingers, point your finger to the ceiling. Okay, so let's start just leaning to the mountain. Keep your feet on the floor for right now. Then we're going to come up and we're going to lean the other way. Okay, are we ready? We're going to come up. Now lean towards your, your chair. Let's extend that leg out. Start with your toes down. Then see if you can lift that foot up. I know, right? Quite the balance challenge. In three, two, one. Bring the leg down and bring the hands down. Let's do the other side. So a balance challenge where we're moving and leaning is very challenging. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We've got both feet on the floor. We're going to come into that extended mountain. Palms together, interlace fingers, point your finger to the ceiling. We're going to lean towards our chair. And up we go. And we're going to lean the other way. And up we go. And let's lean towards our chair. Let's take that foot, that left foot, come up to the toes first. Then we're going to lift that leg up. Leaning mountain with one leg. <laughs> I know, right? One more breath. Up we go. And release. <laughs> Excellent work. All right, turn and face your chair. So the leg next to the back of the chair, I want you to set that foot under the chair so that when you bend your knee, your knee or your shin touches the chair. Take your back leg and we're going to bring it back at that 45 degree angle. So bend that front knee. Bring your hips around a little bit to face me and come into that warrior two. Shoulders are down, belly is tight. Make sure your ribs are in the center of the body. So this is our front hand. We're going to flip that palm to the ceiling. We're going to reverse our warrior up and back. Come back to your warrior two. Now the right hand is going to come down into the chair. Opposite heart arm extends out. Look up a little bit if that feels okay. So make sure your shoulder, shoulder, and wrist are in alignment. Now, if you want to extend, you can extend. Don't worry. If you don't want to do that part, don't worry about it. All right, belly tight. Are we ready? Come into warrior two. Let's do that again. Flip that palm up and back. Back to warrior two. Hand to the chair, side angle pose. Extend that side angle. Press it up into that warrior two. Squeeze the muscles against the bones in the arms, right? Activate that upper body and release. Okay, good. Let's come to the other side. Okay, so again, placing that foot under the chair, right? Bending that knee so that that knee touches the chair. Take a step back with that back foot. That back heel is down. 
Bend the front knee and rotate those hips around to face me. Arms are out. So there we are in our beautiful warrior two. Make sure your ribs are in the center of the body, shoulders are down. Look over those front fingertips. Flip that front palm up and back. Reverse that warrior. Come back to that warrior two. Hand comes to the chair. Side angle pose. Extend that arm over, bicep by ear. Press up into your warrior two. Flip that palm up and back. Back to warrior two. Hand in the chair, side angle pose, arm up and over. Last time through, we got this, warrior two. Reverse it. Side angle pose. Extended side angle. Press up. Activate the upper body, squeeze the muscles against the bones in those arms, and re. Lease. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay. So this is going to be a heart opener with eagle arms. So uh, you're going to be by your chair, but make sure that you're not going to hit the chair when you move your hands. All right. So maybe just a little further forward. Let's clasp our hands behind our back. Press the knuckles down and away. Open up through that chest. One more breath here. Bring the arms wide. Press those arms back there. Open up through that heart. Squeeze those shoulder blades behind. Now we're going to cross. We're going to take that right arm on top. So you've got one elbow stacked on top of the other. We're going to bounce three times. Now we're going to give ourselves a hug. We're going to lift our elbows up on an inhale. And we're going to bring them forward and down on an exhale. Inhale, come up. Open those arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades back behind you. And let's cross the other arm on top. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Grab your shoulders, give yourself a hug. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Elbows are coming down towards the floor. Lift those elbows up, let's open. We're gonna switch sides one more time. Bounce. Bounce, bounce. Now, if you want, your arms are going to go up. Follow your elbows with your gaze. And then I want you to open your arms up into star pose, up until those tippy toes. Wah. Come back down. Hug yourself the other way. Elbows up. Inhale. Elbows down. Exhale. Elbows up on an inhale, open up into star pose. Your arms are up at a V, come up onto those tippy toes. You're looking up, shoulders are down, belly is tight. One more breath and down we go. <laughs> How did you do on that one, right? I know, there's kind of a lot of moving parts for that whole series. I hope that you were able to follow. I hope I cued it well for you. All right. So we're going to take our right knee. We came to seated. I don't even think I said that. I just sat down, but I didn't tell you what I was doing. So we've returned to our seated position, and we're going to move into half Lord of the Fishes. So we're going to take our right knee, and we're going to open it. That left arm is going to open nice and wide, and we're going to bring it all the way across our body. We're going to grab the chair, lift through the crown of the head, turn and look over the back of your chair. Hold and breathe. Let's open up and do that again. Bring that arm all the way across the body. Grab the chair. Lift the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Turn and look over the back of your chair. And release. Let's go ahead and face forward. And we're going to do the other side. So we're going to open. Right arm opens up. And then it comes across the body. We grab the chair. Lift. Turn and look over the back of that chair. Let's release that, open that arm again, bring it all the way across your body, grab the chair, lift and twist. And face forward. Okay, so we're gonna move into pigeon pose. You can cross ankle to ankle, or you can cross ankle to knee. 
Hang out here for just a moment, right? Feeling the stretch. Right in here. Lifting nice and long through the spine if you wish. Let that heart fall forward. Oh yeah, there's a good stretch. Hip and glute. Tuck the chin and roll it up. Let's move that knee up and down just a little bit. And we're gonna do that again. Extending long through the spine, belly tight. Let that heart fall forward. Pigeon pose. Up we go. And let's switch sides, okay? So you've got that ankle to ankle version. If that one, that one works better for you, or ankle to knee. Just hang out here for a couple of breaths, feeling the stretch to begin with. Then we're going to lengthen through the spine and we're going to let our heart fall forward. Keep that back flat, look out, not down. Tuck the chin and roll it up. And then let's move that knee up and down just a little bit. And we're going to do that one more time. Nice long spine, inhale. Exhale as you come forward, keeping the back flat, looking out, not down. There's that stretch for the hip and glute. Ah, one more breath, and up we go. Really good. Place that foot on the floor. And we're going to get ready for Shavasana pose, so our re relaxing pose at the end of our practice. So if you want to sit back and lean back on the chair, go for it. Hands resting lightly on the thighs. Let's flip the palms up. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Embrace the difficulty. You won't make the problem any less problematic by hiding from it. Embrace the difficulty and you begin to give yourself a measure of control over it. Exercise your courage and improve your effectiveness at the same time. Admit the shortcomings, limitations, mistakes, and disappointments. Then do something about them. You're not going to fool anybody by pretending there's not a problem. What you can do is impress everyone including yourself, by meeting the problem head on. Look at the situation with clarity and with the highest expectations. Throw in a little humor and good cheer. Ask yourself, what would turn a negative into a positive? From what areas within this challenge? With what specific actions can you extract opportunity and value. Look honestly and bravely at the problem and what you'll see is a chance to add new richness to life. Feel your courage take hold as you embrace the difficulty and transform it into something good. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with the right hand. Give the head a gentle hug, pressing that opposite hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest, reaching up with the hands, giving the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with the left hand. Give the head a gentle tug, pressing that opposite arm down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Excellent work. Very, very good. So we've made it to the end of day 24. Keep coming back. Click the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. 
and I'll see you tomorrow.